I just flew back to the base and I've been got <laughs> by the potato. Oh my God. Okay. See the book. Oh no. Wakey wakey sunshine. I got you. I don't even know how he got me though. I... Oh, hang on. Wait. All I've done is... <laughs> Do I like my pun? I haven't read it yet. me, give me a break. Hang on. I got you. Here's your punishment. For your next episode, come up with a theme song. No shorter than 10 seconds and use it in your <laughs> intro. <laughs> <laughs> or twice during the video, whatever suits you best. Oh my God. I actually think that's quite cool. Okay, I've got this. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Craft. Now I'm thinking, because this says wakey wakey sunshine, I'm assuming it has something to do with my, yeah, my bed. My bed has been rigged. How the hell did I not? <laughs> All right, okay, well this, this kind of serves me right for listening to music whilst I'm emptying stuff and doing things, doesn't it? Because I did not hear that. Which absolutely sucks, but well done, his school. He obviously knows me too well. Damn it! <laughs> I've literally just stopped recording as well. That's actually hilarious. That does now mean, though, that I need to think of who I'm going to hot potato. Um, there's nobody online but cam accounts today. Uh, but I could definitely get thinking as to what the punishment is going to be. Hopefully I will get that sorted for the end of the episode. I'm gonna keep thinking whilst I'm recording. I'm gonna have a good old think about who, when, and what I'm going to hot potato someone with. This is an absolutely <laughs> genius idea though. I cannot believe that I actually got hot potatoed. I don't AFK much everyone. So I was like, oh, it's fine. Nobody's gonna be able to get me because literally you'll never see my name in that gray color unless I'm waiting for pumpkins, which I rarely ever do down here. <laughs> so I'm very surprised that you actually managed to get me. That actually reminds me, how are they doing? Oh, we're not doing too bad, actually. All right, well, moving on from having the pimply little HP in my inventory, I'm going to leave it there. I wanna say a massive thank you, everyone, for the comments on what we can fill the castle with. You went absolutely crazy in the comments, and it was a beautiful sight to see, and I've kind of chosen a few of your ideas. So yeah, thank you so much for writing those in. But I thought the first thing we should probably start off with, if you don't already know, this is actually the entrance to the castle. And you wouldn't really believe it from the look of it, would you? <laughs> it's not the prettiest of sights. So a lot of you left some ideas for this room here. I thought, why not start as this is the entrance with the entrance way in <laughs> to the castle. It's looking a little bit of a disaster, right? There's torches everywhere. I still believe we need the torches to be here, even though we have the end rods up in the ceiling. But I did get some comments as well saying how cute the chandeliers are. So yeah, thank you for the <laughs> for the love that you showed towards the chandeliers. A lot of people said that it looks like Harry Potter's room. And it does a little bit, but it definitely needs sorting out. So I need to get some materials together and do the unknown. And the unknown for me is um, interior design, as you can probably tell. Uh, but yeah, let's go up to our storage system and get some bits sorted. Okay, so I have collected some materials together. Now, what color wall do we want? Because obviously this is a very royal castle. <laughs> so it kind of needs some carpet, right? Every castle needs that gorgeous carpet. And usually it's a traditional red carpet. Now, I believe in here, maybe. I've, I've definitely used magenta somewhere. Where was it? It kind of just been here. Ah, all right. I know where it was. In my bedroom. In my bedroom, I have used the magenta. So now do I color everything magenta? 
or do I go with the traditional? Or do I go a bit, little bit YOLO? <laughs> my mouth is definitely not working today. Oh my God. But yeah, do I YOLO it? Do I go gray carpet? I know. All right, so here are the three colors all set up. Now, instantly, I don't think this red is gonna go because of the, if we didn't have these chandeliers in the magenta, I think it would be fine. Um, but no, the red is a definite no-no. So now that just leaves the gray and the magenta. Yeah, oh look, you've got a little, okay, maybe we need to change your red color so that you fit in a bit. And now I've just grabbed a secondary color. Maybe the cyan could be cute. Oh, here we go, doggy. There we go, that's much better. Maybe the cyan could go, but I think, what do you all think? Okay, let me know right now, everyone. What am I gonna pick? If you know me well enough, comments, pause it right now. I'm waiting for you to pause it, tell me what color I'm gonna pick. <laughs> Even the doggy's having a little thing. What do you think, doggy? Yeah, you may have guessed it. I went for the magenta, but did you guess that I'd do a gray outline? I don't know, maybe not, but I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy that I now have this in place. I didn't know whether I should have done it going this way, but I think that kind of looks cool. And actually using this gray actually ties in the use of the hoppers in the ceiling. So I'm pretty happy with that. We do have some low light levels here though. Um, I think it was like, yeah, an eight. I'm pretty sure though that mobs only spawn in seven. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but as you can see, that does leave some bits that I kind of need to put like here I need to cover. Now do I... Do I just go full out like, I don't know, torch here? Which obviously I wouldn't, I'd make it look into like a pretty thing. Or do I try and cover it with carpet? That's kind of my dilemma right now. I need to head on over to the chickens because I now know that Scar has been up to something and I can't wait to see what he has done. Oh my, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my, what does that say? Welcome to Ikea. Oh my God, Scar. That is actually amazing. How well does that blue and yellow go together? Right, hang on, let's land on it. All right, so first things first, I see that there's a cat. That is good news, free Swedish meatballs. <laughs> That's funny. Right, hi, little cat. Oh, you have no name yet? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my. Oh, apparently there's an school here. That is actually hilarious. Um, where though is, oh, I, I hear her, I hear her. Where are you? It's, is she upstairs? How do I, ah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, okay. All right, level two show, oh my. All right, there's, okay. There's me saying about, okay, the chicken isn't here. Where, where is she? <laughs> where's, where's Lisa gone? Anyway, before I go and try and find her, look at this. I could actually, ooh, I could actually use some of this. I am rubbish at interior design and this is proper cute. Chicken? Why, why, why do I hear it but not see it? Got an egg? Hi? <laughs> why could I not find this chicken? I've been all around the outside. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. How did you get up there, Lisa? <laughs> That's hilarious. How the hell did she get up there, Lisa, love? The only way I found you was because you pooped out your egg. It's nice to see that you're happy, though, okay? I'm assuming that means that you've been fed. <laughs> this place is absolutely incredible. I actually love it. And you have your little friend, Lisa, that's not going to eat you. 
Um, I don't know why she wouldn't eat you, but is this surely safe? Can Lisa not get out here? I don't have any glass panes, otherwise I'd fix it. I should probably say to Scar. But anyway, has Lisa been fed? Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, Scar! Um, Lisa is apparently hiding in the corner because she hasn't been fed, not because she has been fed. Oh my god! Has Fedora been fed? All right. No! What is going on? <laughs> Me poor chicks. They've just been abandoned and not looked after. And I feel like they were better off in their other little coop things. You haven't been fed for weeks, Fedora. I'm so, feel so sorry for you. I will take your egg though. Can, can I at least give you some company? No, I can't. I'm sorry, Fedora. All right, so. I'm a bit of a plonker. <laughs> um, yeah, Lisa has her companionship of cats. So um, I'm sorry, Scar. That's just me being an absolute plonker and forgetting that the cat was actually the uh, all the food that she needed. <laughs> I'm sorry, Scar, I didn't mean it. Right, I've flown back over. Now let's see if Lisa is going to age. All right, here we go. Good news, good news, yes, it's good news. She has aged one cycle. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so here is a bit of paper saying Liesl, Liesl. Lisa has aged one cycle. And here is the 20 stacks of any kind of food. Today, she has pooped out pickled herring. Good job, Lisa. And sorry again, Scar, for saying that you didn't feed her. My bad. All right, so coming back to my base, I've done a little tiny bit of progress. I've decided, I think, to carry on the same kind of design, but in like a, a smidgen, just a smidgen <laughs> bigger form. I think this looks kind of cute. If we just do like that, I do feel like this being on the same level is a little bit weird, but maybe we can sort that out somehow. But I think that looks okay. We may need to actually do this as a spruce log. Possibly if we actually remove this one as well. Ah, nearly. Like that, or does that look weird? We could probably <laughs> spruce it up a bit. <laughs> oh dear, you gotta wonder what goes in in my brain. Maybe try and add, I don't know, some stairs here and now. That might break it up a little tiny bit just on this panel here. Okay, I feel like it's something we can work with. Definitely. All right, I've just grabbed some emeralds because I want some bookcases. So I'm going to go into me gorgeous geezers in here and grab myself. Actually, I don't know who's going to be the cheapest one. Are you cheap? Oh, God. What is cheap for a bookcase nowadays? Are they all six? All right, fair enough. So I want to grab a few of these because... Oh, no. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh... Oh, what do you actually do next? Are you going to unlock... Mr. Man, Mr. Man, you're not doing anything, stupid. All right, well, hopefully 54 is going to be enough for this. Uh, yeah, it's going to be more than enough. That actually, I probably bought um, a little too many. But I think this room is coming along amazingly. I absolutely love, 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 love the bottom of this room now. It brings it together so much. Before it was just all gray, and now it's it's broken up even by the, the lanterns, or the, no, the chandeliers. The chandeliers as well, which I am so happy about. I don't really know what to do above this room though, um, but I, I'll think of it. I'll think of it in a little while. But what I do wanna do is around back here, I can actually dig this back as you would have seen with these. So I'm gonna dig this back because I want to put a, ooh, actually, that's probably what we could do with the top bit of this wall. I want to put a, um, a camp, well, it's not going to be a campfire, is it? But a chimney of some sorts in here. Then we could probably take the chimney up all the way through that wall, and then that breaks that up. All right, so I have bought all of my, well, 11 more of my doggies down here. Look at them, they're so happy, especially you, aren't you? Anyway, I thought a good idea, because I still have all of these, like, sea lanterns going around the place. Actually, saying that, I don't know if this is going to be any better now. 
Still probably have to sort this out. What light level is this? All right, we might be good with this, but anyway, I'm getting distracted. What I thought we could do is grab the great, stop pushing me. Grab the gray carpet like that and then push one of the dogs onto the gray carpet and then it looks like they're just guarding the place. I think that looked really cute. I need to um, get them to sit down though. You, actually no. Um, one of you come over here. Come over here. Thank you. Okay, and then push them in place. All right, so now that they're on their little seats, I'm going to paint them all, <laughs> or paint their collars, all to magenta, bar the ones that already have colors. So this one won't, this one won't. And that is because you may remember these dogs were all part of the, uh, of the Civil War. So the original ones are the purple... The purple, the blue, and the yellow. Maybe there was a red one. I don't know. I can't remember that far back, all right? But I remember that those ones at least were the original dogs. They're like our little guard dogs. They don't look at us, though. I suppose they do a little bit. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Nice. I did just go and grab some paintings as well. So I kind of want to get a couple of paintings on this wall. I'm a little bit distracted by... The, uh, the window up there, but I'm pretty sure I can't get rid of that window without it looking ugly. Let's have a quick nosy. Uh, it would be this one. I suppose, I suppose we probably could. I'm just really put off by the fact that there's just wood in that space. All right, does this look any better? Doggy, you've moved. Get back on your position. Thank you. Oh, that looks so much better. The only issue is now that it's off center. <laughs> Which again throws me off, but it's that off center on the outside. Oh, uh, okay. Well, never mind. Let's see if we can get a painting that looks kind of cute up there. All right. Well, I don't really know if I like that painting or if I don't like that painting. I feel like I might leave it there and see what you all think about it. I also don't know if I should put one on the other side or if I should actually let's try putting one above that as well that's maybe different that might look a little bit better but I'd love to see what you think about this painting I'm not usually a let's put paintings in my base person but I feel like this will need something like that all right well I got the pig one I don't know I don't know how I feel about this let me know in the comment section everyone should I keep the paintings or shouldn't I all right, so I feel like this room is pretty much done. I'm so, 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 so happy with it. Maybe I could do something on those two sides of the chimney, but this wall is now completed. The reason I have the uh, ladders up there, by the way, everyone, I just feel like I need to point this out, is because obviously there are books up there. And it's kind of library-like, right? You need to be able to get to the books. <laughs> but they're the paintings, okay, that I've chosen to do. Obviously, this looks a little bit different. It's still a little bit plain. But yeah, I still want to know what you think about all of that over there. But this side as well is pretty much done. Also, again, there's some spare spots. But that is just going to be like little tweaks here and there. And th usually that's something that I do ongoing. So I'll be like, oh, I know I've got an idea. And that'll probably be in like a few days time. And then I will stick whatever the idea is in there. Or I'll read the comments and then one of you beautiful lot would have said something. But apart from that, this room is pretty much done. Yes, I've been so good today. Now that reminds me, I now need to get myself a book and some feathers and, um, oh, uh, yeah, that wasn't a book, but you know what I mean. I need to make a book and quill and I need to now get this hot potato sorted for the next person. All right, so here is the book, everybody. I haven't set anything up yet, but I've written the book. It says, kapow. You have been spudded. 
hot potatoed. <laughs> Here is your punishment. For your next episode, you must say everybody loves ice 10 times. You must randomly say this without acknowledging that you have actually said it. Good luck and have fun. So now this is all ready for some lucky person to get into their inventory. But for today, everyone, we are about done. We are gonna do the hot potato in in the next episode. So if you enjoyed today's episode, add the intro song or theme song, should I say. <laughs> I love doing that so much. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's episode, everyone, then please give me a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And if you really enjoyed it, then please hit the subscribe button. So everyone, I will see you all next time. Bye.